Power BI has recently released its latest update to Power BI service, and this includes paginated reports. These were originally just the purview of the premium and premium capacity licenses, but now is available for pro. Well, why should be excited by this? If you're an old hand and you've used SSRS before, think about integrating SSRS into your reports. But for the rest of us, what on earth does it mean? If I look at one of my published reports, I can export the data and I can export either the underlying data or the aggregated data. This is fine and it does give people the ability to print out their information. However, a paginated report allows a little bit more flexibility. I can apply filters and then generate what is very similar to an Excel spreadsheet. I can export the data to a huge variety of different sources very easily. So let's have a look at setting one up. There are two ways that you can start off by creating the paginated report. For your starting one, I would recommend publishing a report that you're happy with and having a page available that you're going to connect to. Come over to the left hand side, click on your workspace and then go to the data source that you want to attach the paginated report to. So here I'm using my existing paginated report. So here I'm using my existing data set. In the top left hand corner, go to file. Up the top of the page, go to create report. And you'll see we've got this option for as formatted table. This is the fastest way of creating one. Without having to install any additional software, I can now create a paginated table. Go over to the right hand side and tick the information you like. I'm going to have my region name, my purchase table purchase date, and my quantity. Think of this as my underlying raw data, the individual transactions. We then want to go up and give that a save. Give it a name. And save. With that saving, switch over to your original report. Go up to edit. And you'll see now appearing by default on the visualizations, paginated report. Position that on the page. Connect to report. And all your paginated reports are listed. Give it a tick. Set parameters, whatever that means. See report. So this now has all of my data for all of my different sales. I can export it, but changing filters has no effect on the data. That's where parameters come in. Over on the left hand side, go back to your workspace. Feel free to save the changes. And you'll see you've now got an additional report, paginated report. Click on the ellipses. And this time we're going to do edit in Power BI Report Builder. You're going to be limited with what you can do if you just want to create paginated tables. So I'm going to edit it here. At this point, if you haven't already downloaded, you will now be prompted to download Power BI Report Builder. From here, I want to connect this in. And the way you do it is via parameters. Right click on parameters, add a parameter. This is going to be my region. The prompt, well, I'm going to have this as automatic, so I'm not actually going to have it visible. However, if you want to, you can even have drop downs at the top of your report. I'm going to set mine to hidden because it's going to be passed in from Power BI. Click OK. Come over to the data set, and this is where we filter the data before it goes into our visuals. Expand your data sets. Right click on data set one, and we're going to come down to Dataset properties, on the left hand side filters, add the column that I want to filter is my region, region name, and I want to set it equal to, click on the little FX symbol, on the left hand side choose parameters, double click on region, choose OK, choose OK, 
and that will now allow you to filter it. If I try and run the report, I'm going to get an error message because there is no filter currently on here. If I try and publish though, I also get an error message. I'm going to overwrite my existing one, publish, click yes, and then error. Now Microsoft errors are always crystal clear, but if I look here, bad request, the value expression, text box, yada yada yada, the aggregate function cannot be used in a report that contains filters. So the problematic row is this last cell, my total. I'm just going to get rid of it. Right click, delete row. Now if I go to file, publish again, I'm going to overwrite my existing one. Yes. And now I can connect this to my Power BI report with a filter. Come back into your browser, back to the report you want to add the paginated report to, click on edit, and we're going to edit our visual. In here, paginated report, set parameters, and it says here, hang on a minute, select a related field. This is blank because we haven't actually set any fields into our paginate report. From Power BI, I want to pass in the region name into parameters. Selected field, region name. You can have as many of these as you like. It's defaulted to Northwest. Click on see report. And you'll see now the two are linked. If I choose a second region, and apply. At first glance, it looks like it's working. However, if I use these two little arrows to jump to the very last page of the report, it turns out that's not the case. Come back down to your Power BI report builder, click OK, and come back to your parameter. Double click, and we want to allow multiple values. Tick that, choose OK. Come to your data set, right click, data set properties, down to filters, and instead of equals, which only allows one option, use the drop down and choose in. Click OK. This means that I can now pass in a comma separated list of filters. File. I want to republish. I'm going to overwrite the existing one. Switch back into your browser, click back on your visual, up to the ellipses, edit, and we're going to make sure that our parameter is working. Region, region name, north and northwest. Click on see report, and now not only do I have my north data, but if I click on skip to the last page, I have my northwest. It's worth noting you're not just limited to tables. You can also create different types of visuals that are very printer friendly. I hope you found this useful and we'll see you in the next one.